Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna deploy our basic app on the Azure. So, my basic app contains front end using React and back end using Node.js. So, I will show you how we can deploy React app and Node.js on Azure. Let's get back to code. So this is my basic app and this is the structure of my project, right? So basically in the root folder, I am having my uh, backend, which is using Node.js. So this is the index.js file. I have created two routes here using uh, Express. Now app.get on the slash okay on the root uh, we will be redirecting towards a hello message this is just for test and i will be calling this route slash api slash message on the react app so we will be getting a message hello from the backend this is just a basic app for the demo purpose so i have uh, used this only uh, maybe you can have a big project or a whole website to deploy so for demo, I just have created two routes. Next, uh, I have front end directory in which all React app files are contained. Okay, so first file which is important over here that is app.js. This is the only file which we are gonna use, right? All other files are uh, created using create React app method, which we use to you know create the React app. So you might have all these files already if you are working on any React project or any React, uh, you know, uh, building any React website. So now in app.js, what I have done is I have just, uh, you know, called this route using Axios. You all must know about Axios, right? So Axios is the module which I have imported over here. Okay, now. Uh, this is the route in my backend. So I will be hitting backend from here and whatever message I am, I am getting, I will be, see, uh, you know, storing this message over here. Okay. So in the paragraph style, I will be showing my message attribute, which is nothing but, uh, you know, which I will be getting from the backend. Hello from backend. So I have already run this over here. You can see my server is running on localhost 5000. So, yeah, and my React app is running on 3000. So, I'm getting hello from backend on my React app. Okay, localhost 3000. My React app is also running here. You can see on 3000, right? So, if I click over here, you can see my React app is running over port 3000 and I'm getting backend message hello from the backend on the port. You know, from the port uh, localhost 5000, right? Now we will be deploying this basic application over Azure. So, first step would be we need to push this code over to the GitHub because we will be deploying using GitHub. GitHub is the easiest way which people use to, you know, uh, deploy their applications. And we also use GitHub generally to store the code, uh, you know, code for our project. So this is my Git repository. You guys can see here I have already created basic application. This is the repository which will be containing all the code which I have shown you over VS Code, right? So this is having the same code. Okay, next step after pushing the code to GitHub, what we need to do is go to Azure portal, right? You must have any account over the Azure or any free subscription or your organization subscription. Click on create a resource, search here static web app. Here uh, we will be using two app services, one for front end and one for back end. Okay. So front end that is react. We will be deploying on static web app. So click on create. Now choose your subscription your resource group 
enter any name so here i will be taking basic app front end say 001 okay you can give any name according to your convenience and which should be also available okay hosting plan i will be uh, doing here free okay so because i am just doing it for you know demo purpose so free is fine if you are you know developing or testing for doing testing so free is the perfect here now we are going to do it using github so source will be github only don't change it now my github account is already logged in here uh, if you don't have already logged in uh, you just need to follow the steps to you know log in your github account over here next select the organization you must also select your repository basic app which we have created just now and branch will be main okay now after doing this build details is automatically fetched by azure right so see here in build present it has already detected that we have done something using front, uh, for the front end we have done something using react right so it is auto detected if it is not you can just select react and then select your app location here it says front end that is the name of the directory right in your repository or in your code you can see my react is in front end folder if your folder name is something different just change it over here now api location will be empty and output location will be built which is automatically written if it is not you just enter build build okay next uh, we just need to click on review and create click on create so it is submitting your deployment it will be taking 2 to 3 minutes you can see your deployment is in progress after 2 to 3 minutes your deployment will be completed and click on go to resource so see your resource is created here what important is you can see here your url it will be generating any uh, you know random url for you so just click on this url see your site is up uh it says your site will be ready soon please check back later right now uh what's important over here is that your deployment you know you can see here your deployment history right so click on github action runs here you can see that it is running your uh you know all your processes once it is done you can see your application over here right over here now we have deployed our front end over static web app now we will we'll be deploying our node js okay so for node js let's get back to home page and uh, create a new app service you can see web app over here click on create if there is no web app you can search over here right so click on create choose your subscription choose resource group name give any name so here i will be giving basic app backend because we are deploying backend nodejs 001 okay now here we will be choosing code publish should be code runtime stack will be node.js node.js version 18 operating system should be windows if you are good with linux go with linux uh, but for now we will be doing with windows region you have to choose whichever is closer to you for now i will be keeping a default that is east us next we have to choose our pricing plan for this demo i will be doing f1 that is free if you can't see over uh, any 
you know your app service plan just click on create new enter name and click on okay click on review and create it's validating your resource click on create again it will taking 2 to 3 minutes you can see your deployment is in progress so after 2 to 3 minutes your deployment is successful click on go to resource click on deployment center we have to push our code from github so click on deployment center source is github now this is important we have to change our provider to app service build service click on okay now after clicking okay if you are seeing something error scm basic authentication is disabled click on this red error and in the configuration you have to just click on on for scm basic authentication so we need to on this and then click on save continue this has been updated go back now choose github change provider app service build service click on okay here you have to sign in your github account i have already signed in my account so account signing steps are simple you just need to follow the steps put in your username and password now select organization your repository where your uh, code is deployed so my repository name is basic app and branch will be main click on save now you have linked your github repository where your backend uh, you know backend node.js code is deployed you have connected that code with your azure uh, web service right so after 2 to 2 to 3 minutes if you refresh this you can see a uh, status is success right so your pipeline is running and go next you need to go to just overview after going overview this is your default domain that is your url for backend so click on this url here you can see on our azure basic app backend right we are getting hello why we are getting hello because in our code we have written hello a response dot send hello on our get route right if i try this slash api slash message so i i should get hello from the backend so let's try this route also if i add here slash api slash message enter so what we are getting message as hello from the backend right now this is on our backend we have to show this message on front end that is react right so what we need to do is we just need to change the route in our code so let's get back to code okay go to app.js in front end and here instead of http localhost 5000 just update your route so just copy this route this is your backend app service name copy this and change it with http localhost 5000 here so just change the route over here okay if you have written your route in .env file so you can change in .env file for now i just have only one route so i will be changing here now we have made changes in code so we need to push new updated code to the git and git will automatically push our code to azure right so first let's check our git status if you don't know anything about git just copy these commands in your terminal to push your code to the github right so here you can see i have modified this
now i will be doing git comment and message will be change in route because i have a uh, change just one route and nothing else okay so click on enter you can see one file changed now our status git status your branch is ahead of origin main so we will be doing git push origin so after doing git push origin main you can see your code is pushed to the github okay so this is your updated code now let's get back to our browser this is our backend where we are getting hello from backend okay now let's hit our front end which was basic app front end 001 and the url you can find in overview url okay so here you can see hello from backend right and the route is wonderful pebble which is a uh, random generated by azure so this is your front end side react side where we are getting hello from the backend which is from node.js so these were the simple steps how you can deploy your website or your any project over to the azure now here i just want to mention an important step many people ask this query in comment section that they are getting you know uh, you do not have permission to view this page so that's basically an error because of one one missing file that is web.config file okay so this is the file which you need to add in your project's root directory root directory means where your index.js file for the backend is located right so in your root directory you just need to add this file web.config file so to generate this webconfig file there is a basic command which i will be giving in description box so you can check that command over there and if you get any error while running that command you can get this web.config file directly from me uh, you guys can contact me through my instagram which i will be mentioning in my description box thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will meet you in next video